Soichi Noguchi will have spent more time in space than any of his other crewmates. It is my pleasure to welcome him here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us, Soichi. Honjitsu wa arigato gozaimasu. Wow, that's wonderful. Marina, how are you doing? Thanks for having me today. We are celebrating the launch, so uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for being here with us. I am sure you have felt the excitement for today's launch, Soichi, and you will be on the next crew Dragon flight after this one. Are you excited to launch from Kennedy Space Center again, and how are you preparing for this new vehicle? Yes, definitely we are excited to go back to Kennedy Space Center. My first space flight was from Kennedy Space Center on the Space Shuttle Discovery. That was 15 years ago, but my memory is still fresh. I still feel the vibration of the launch, the same launch pad of 39A that the demo to go up, and the same launch pad that we will go up uh, as a crew one. And uh, our crew is getting ready for the final uh, training phase, which will come uh, in the coming weeks. And uh, the mood is really high, and we are ready to go up. And as you know, the International Space Station and space exploration is an international effort. How do you feel representing the Japanese Space Agency once again on the ISS? Well, I think the, the strengths of the International Space Station is the diversity of the, all the participating countries. And adding the diversity is definitely gives a rigidity to the program. And the same applies to our crew, our crew one. Our crew one, uh, we are four of us, but uh, quite a different background, They're quite a different uh, ethnicity, and uh, definitely the diversity is the key word of our success to the crew one. And I'm sure it will be very successful. What are you looking forward to once you get back to the ISS? Well, this will be my third uh, visit to the International Space Station. I'd like to see the things uh, my colleagues uh, keep saying, hey, you got to visit the space, space Station again because it's getting more comfortable, more roomy, and uh, I cannot wait to go back to my sleep station after 10 years. And nothing beats that view, does it? Oh, definitely. Uh, my last flight, we actually installed a big window called the cupola, and uh, that was a big hit, obviously. This is uh, the number one leisure time for astronauts, and um, I'm ready to shoot as many photos as I can this time as well. Amazing. I will look forward to seeing those photos. I'm sure you remember exactly what it feels like in these moments right before a launch. What do you think Robert Benkin and Douglas Hurley are feeling right now as they prepare to head to the ISS? Well, uh, Doug and Bob's uh, space shuttle uh, veterans, they know the drill. They have, they have launched, uh, they, they experienced the launch before. So I think they're pretty relaxed. And uh, so far through my training, I learned that most of the, uh, the steps before the launch is quite similar to what we have in the space shuttle days. So, uh, you know, different suit, different vehicle, but uh, all the necessity steps uh, to, to go up into the capsule should feel similar. So I'm pretty sure they are relaxed. Of course, they are very excited. I'm sure they are. Gokatsu yakuo, oinori shiteimasu. Honjitsu wa arigato gozaimashita. Thank you so much, Soichi, for joining us today. Oh, Marina, you are so good. Domo arigato. <laughs> and uh, we all both enjoyed the beautiful lunch today. Thank you very much for having me. Bye-bye.